people ever think they're out of the woods when it comes to shitting your pants? <laughs> You're never too old. You're never too old to shit your pants. <laughs> people wake up and they're like, I'm not gonna shit my pants today. You don't fucking know. <laughs> Oh, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. <laughs> uh, I'm in debt. Anybody in debt? Woo! Sally Mamie's my girl. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm in my, I was in my grace period. Um, and, and for those that don't know, the grace period is like the little moment after you graduate where they're like, you don't owe us yet. <laughs> but it's coming, it's coming. Um, and like they would send me these emails every week and they'd just be like, you're one week closer to uh, having to pass. And like getting those emails was kind of like when the guy, the rich guy who's hunting you on his private island <laughs> gives you a 15 minute head start into the jungle. <laughs> so I'm like out there, I'm shirtless, I'm dirty, I'm like cutting vines together trying to build a man trap. <laughs> We'll see who the most dangerous game is, Sally uh, May. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm bisexual. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm not really out yet. Um, I know I just told like 30 people. <laughs> but um, it's always been a thing, and I mean, I, you know, people have this moment when they kind of realize they, they have a solidifying moment for their sexuality. For me, it was when I saw Brokeback Mountain for the first time, which is a beautiful film. Uh, I cry like a bitch every time. <laughs> There's this scene in it where uh, Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal, they haven't seen each other in five years, and they have just this like raucous, amazing, passionate, just like cummy sex. You know what I mean? And uh, afterwards, they're like spooning, and Jake Gyllenhaal is like curled up, and he's like, I didn't know you were like us. I didn't know you were like queer, like me. And Heath Ledger just stone faces, just... I ain't no queer. <laughs> Heath Ledger, you just had anal sex with a man. <laughs> Sounds pretty gay to me, I don't know. Um, which for me, it was like I remember being in high school and like getting my ass kicked and like some guy being like, oh, I heard you sucked Mikey's dick and me like wiping the cum off my mouth. Like, no! That's gay! I don't do that. <laughs> Uh, so I'm friends with my cousin on Facebook, which is a mistake, uh, because he's one of these, like, truck-fucking, like, confederate flag-waving pieces of shit. Uh, his Facebook profile picture is him just holding this big fish, this big, big shirtless, <laughs> which is like a sex thing in those circles, I think. <laughs> He, uh, he posted a screenshot of a tweet the other day, uh, and this thing had been screenshotted like eight fucking times, like, it was blurry and fucking, like, deep fried. Uh, it was from somebody named Lib Destroyer, uh, and it said, in all caps, If you found out that saying the N-word could cure AIDS, would you liberal pussy sack up and do what's right? <laughs> no! No! Maybe. <laughs> like if my mom got AIDS, I'd like I'd whisper it. I don't know. <laughs> so people are always trying to get me to do things, right? They're always like, "You should come try hot yoga." Or like, I just there's this yoga class. I think that you'd be like really good at it. <laughs> you should try it. Uh, have you heard of vegan free cycling? I just think it's like right up your alley. And I always want to say like, yeah, or I could just fucking hang myself. Like, <laughs> which I can't make that joke at parties. <laughs> Because I look like I'll do it. <laughs> just like desperate, sweaty, like body like a melted candle. Just... It's a threat, it's not a joke. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you very much.